Good afternoon folks, John Nolan here with your PM update, taking a look at what we're working for on Saturday's e-edition of the Times Leader. I'm here at the annual Fine Arts Fiesta, which continues through Sunday. If you haven't had a chance, come on down. In news today, Wilkes-Barre police have charged Natasha Watson in connection with the stabbing of another woman in a Sable-Lot parking lot Thursday afternoon. Jerry Lineout is following that case. A Hazleton couple has filed a civil lawsuit in Luzerne County Court against a trucking company and a commercial vehicle rental business, stemming from a crash that involved a state police cruiser on Interstate 81 in 2020. Ed Lewis has the details. And state officials say Pennsylvania's unemployment rate was down one-tenth of a percentage point over the month to 4.8% in April. And more than 80% of jobs lost since the pandemic started have been recovered. Bill O'Boyle explains. In Lifestyles, history columnist Tom Mooney talks about the importance of maiden names when doing genealogical research. Remember that Blackout Bingo is underway. You can find your number inside the paper each day. As always, folks, we thank you for reading. If you're not already a subscriber, call 570-829-5000 or visit timesleader.com backslash subscribe. Thanks and have a great afternoon.